started working towards getting our, our people into better facilities. That I put 102 employees in, in a great building. You know, this is great, it's great for the public when they come in. In this building, they can get full service. Everything that they need can be done through, through this building. And, uh, you know, that's really important so people don't have to go to different places. Now, one thing, if you look, you know, if, if you're from Selma or if you're not from Selma, this place actually building has a great location. It's not very far to drive to Parlier from here. It's not very far to drive from Fowler from here. Just up this road is Manning Avenue, which runs all the way uh, to Reedley, and you can get from Orange Cove. You can come over here if you don't want to go somewhere else. So this is a great location. And I want to thank the board, Supervisor Mendez, the Board of Supervisors, and the county for retaining their commitment to Selma and keeping this office here that's so vital to the South County right here in Selma. As the supervisor said, it's centrally located. Um, it is definitely a crossroads for part of the air for the eastern and western cities. And citizens really use this center. People come here all the time. They gain benefits. And a lot of the folks don't have access to transportation who come to this office. They don't have access to the internet. So having a location in this actual, this physical place is really important as well as the continuity of locating an office. The, so the idea initially was, was to improve working conditions, but most importantly, to improve services to the community. I believe we have achieved that. And so I'm really excited to be here this morning. Congratulations to Delfino and your team. You've done a great job. You have a lot to be proud of. And, once again, thank you to the Board of Supervisors for making this happen. I'm really appreciative, though, of our team, our staff, who have come with us, who did believe when we laid out the vision to them that this could be accomplished because this had been told to them. These promises had been given to our staff before, and for whatever reason, they uh, hadn't worked out. They actually have uh, archives of other plans for other similar developments that hadn't worked. So I'm very, I'm very, I thank all of you. I honor all of you. You have done fantastic work throughout our redevelopment, throughout the, the pandemic, throughout the Creek Fire. Some of the folks from this office actually had to go respond to help with the Creek Fire. Had to go out in the middle of the night to support uh, the evacuations for those individuals. You know, I, they did that. It was me. I might be the person that takes the agenda item, but they're the ones that do the work. And I honor you, and I thank you for that. I also want to thank my management team, they have done an awesome job for all this time. I do want to acknowledge the, uh, sort of the, almost a silent partner in all this. And that's Steve Rousseau, who's been backing us up the whole time. He's been with us. Uh, he's, he's, he's retiring. He's going to go play golf. I'm not going to let him win, but he's going to go play golf. But I want to thank him. And, and the one person, the one constant I can say, the support that's been there the whole time has been Bud Buddy Mendes. He's been 